Hey everybody, it's the coin guy here coming to you from Leiden in the Netherlands. I've got myself a one kilogram bag of coins. I have not looked at what's in it. So big thank you to Theo Peters of Amsterdam. Lovely shop. Highly recommend checking it out. They have a website as well. They sell these in one, five, ten, and I think 20 kilogram bags worth it so now i'm going to check out what's in this bag and let's see what we can find i have not looked in at all so let's see what we've got this is a large bag i might need to do this in multiple parts wow there's a lot there there's a lot there oh there's one little coin sticking there's one little coin that got stuck what is this Republic, oh, I don't know. Somewhere in the Caribbean, I think. Oh, French Republic. I've never seen a French Republic coin that looks like this. I don't know if you can see it, quite see it there. Uh, this might be one of the islands or something. I'd have to look it up. So that I'm gonna put to the side. Oh, this, this I recognize, uh, Yugoslavia. Uh, if you can read, it does say, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Pretty easy one to spot. Let's and let's dig into this. There's a lot to ooh, this one looks interesting. Oh, Indonesia. Bank of Indonesia. Yeah, it says pretty clearly on it. Bank of Indonesia. There we go. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Put that aside. An American one here. American ones are easy to spot, especially for me. I'm from Canada. I'm used to seeing them. Oh, there's a lot in here. What's this one? Oh, Bank of Uganda. Ooh, that's a nice one. Very nicely done. It's got a bird of some variety. Nice. Republique Francais. That's a nice one. Ooh, wow. French one from 1947. Ooh, that's very light as well. So that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna have to look up what the, uh, what the material is for this, because that's very light. India, these ones are very easy to spot because they say India on them. What's this? This looks old. Ooh, 1994 from Belgique. Ooh, nice Belgium. Nice Belgian coin from uh, World War II. Oh, that's a nice find. Get my coffee. You need your coffee. Oh, and we got another uh, French one, 1946. Let's see. Oh, I got some nice old ones here. Oh. This is something I've never seen before. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. République de Haiti. So the Haiti. And, but this one's from 1907. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice looking coin. Look at that. I can't see how well you can see it, but it's got like a cannon and a very nice emblem there. Ooh, that's staying in. That's a keeper. Yeah, I can see a couple more American ones, so I'm just gonna leave those out. Um, sorry to my American fans. Oh, 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 oh. I think I know what this is. Oh, we've got a Dutch East India Company. One cent from 1928. Look at that. These are cool, actually, because they've got Arabic on one side. Um, because these would have been used in, you know, Southeast Asia, where Arabic was still a language of trade. So that's a nice, nice one right there. Let's see, what else do we have? Another uh, Yugoslavia. Where's my other Yugoslav coin there? There's a nice Italian one here. Very good quality. 1983, pre-Euro. What else do we have here? Commerce, industry, 1929. Commerce, ooh. One franc from uh, 1923, nice, from the French. That's a nice one. Some of these, you just look at them and you know they're old and you know they're rare. Not necessarily rare, ooh, Espana, 1944. That's a nice one, peseta. Again, I don't know how you, you guys can see this on the camera, but I will try and post some photos later. And we can... 
I can share them so you can see how nice some of these are. Hmm, this is some sort of token. It's a funky looking token. What a nice little Greek drachma. Get 73, that's a nice one. Let's see if there's any interesting old looking ones. 1974 from Norway. It's got a nice lion on it. Oop, oop, oop. This is Morocco, I believe. Morocco. Got a couple more French ones here and some Belgium. Another nice Belgian. Belgian are very easy to spot for the most part. This Netherlands, but it's 1943. Oh, that's nice. Nice Dutch, uh, Dutch from the 40s. Some more Spain. There's my Spain pile. I do need a better system for when I do this. Another Peseta, ooh, from uh, Franco era, 1947. That's nice. Well, not nice, but you know. You know what I mean. Put that in my Spain pile. Spain pile's getting larger. Nice Greek one here. Greek, where's the rest of my Greek pile? This one is, I wanna say India. I think this is India. No, Nepal, sorry, Nepal. There's a nice light one from, uh, oh, from Germany in 1920. Oh, you feel how light that is. Very nice piece from Germany. England, that was easy to spot. I got some more little American ones in there. That's a Soviet, one Kopec, very small. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what this one is, but it's old. 1790 something. Oh, this is gonna need a little more research because there's clearly a king. I see Ludov XVI. Could this be like a Louis the Sixteenth? I'm gonna have to Look this up, because this one's an interesting one. <gasps> oh, lordy. Napoleon Emperor, 1855. Oh, my. That's a keeper right there. Coin of Napoleon III. That's definitely a keeper. I got old British here. You can tell because of the lion and the way Britannia is sitting there. Nice old set. Let's see if there's any other special ones I can point out for you. And some India. Nice British. Trying to see if there's some in some other ones in here that catch my attention. And a nice Spain from 1953. Nice Spain pile. Uganda. A couple more from Uganda here. What do we got here? Ooh, there's a good good Spain mix in this in this bag. I love getting these kinds of bags because you never really know what you're gonna get. Um, sometimes you get nothing, sometimes you get a lot. So here's another Franco. Woohoo! Again, I'm gonna be posting some photos of these a little bit later because, yeah, another Franco. It's hard, I know it's hard to see in the video. Um, but this is a good chance to kinda, oh! Travail, famille, patrie, Franc, etat francais. So this would be Vichy France, 1942. Very nice. Ooh, this was a good bag. This was totally worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. And I've earned a drink of coffee. Yeah, that's the thing with these bags. Um, so I paid, I think, 40 euros for this bag. And it's paying out. This one looks like it's a wash token. Token. <laughs> That's intriguing. Sometimes these really, really pay out. Sometimes they don't. This one is paying out. Um, 
quick reminder, I don't do this, I don't collect coins for the money in the sense that I'm not trying to make a profit here. Um, I collect them because I love coins. But it's good to know that one day my grandkids are going to pick through my collection and they're actually going to be able to make some money off of it. <laughs> Always good to know. Here's another... Is it? Spain, 1943. And some really nice old ones in here. That's always nice to see. I always love when I get the old ones. Ah. So, Netherlands, 1943. I'm in the Netherlands now, so I should know that. All right, another France. Oh, Indonesia. Where's my Indonesia pile? I'm going to have an Indonesia pile here. Again, I do need a better system for this. I will come up with one at some point. And we'll be getting a lot of Uganda in this one. Okay, so I've mentioned slugs before. This is a really good example of a slug. There is no way I will ever be able to tell what was on this coin. Um, it's probably copper. Well, it wasn't, but it's a really good example of a slug. A slug basically meaning a coin that you will never be able to read. Um, no matter how hard you try, just because it's long since deteriorated. It's a shame when you get them, but also they're a very valuable uh, tool. Because, you know, they show us what a coin once looked like. Got a few more German. Albert II. Belgium, one franc. Oh, that's a nice one. 1984. And then you get one that's so rusted like this that I probably won't be able to. Maybe I can look at that in detail later, but no, you won't be able to get much from that. French Republic. France. Again, considering I'm in the Netherlands, it doesn't surprise me that I'm getting a lot of uh, French coins. That, uh, that checks out. Lots of little British coins here. Got some more Yugoslavia, some more Russia. Ooh, we got another fun little one. Oh, this is Belgium. Not in the best of condition, though. I will say, although I'm getting some really nice kind of rare ones in here, uh, I'm not seeing a lot of quality ones. Like the quality in this pack is not overly good. As I say that, I get a very nice Uganda one. What else do we get? Oh, this is Austria, I believe. Yeah, I think this is Austria from 1918. Ooh, a great year for Austria. Not really. Um, but even you can see it's actually slightly bent. I don't know if you could see that in the video, but it's actually got a solid bend to it. So I don't know if this was in someone's pocket or something and it bent. That's worth researching more. Oh, I got another Franco. I actually don't think I have any coins of Franco in my collection, so that's going to be a nice addition. Um, this is actually probably going to take me hours to go through. A nice little two rand. So I'm trying to see if I can find some coins that catch my attention. Portugal. Norwegian one here. Yeah, you can actually have out, literally hours of fun with these because, again, it's going to take me a couple hours to really go through this and figure out what's what. Um, hey, Czechoslovakia, 1964. That's a nice one. Put that aside to show some of my Czech friends. This is, oh, uh, Switzerland. Germany, not just any Germany, I believe this is West Germany. So there you have it. Um, I'm going to keep milling away at this and see what I can find. Ooh, another American. And uh, nice spending time with everyone, looking through some coins. I'll post some photos later of uh, the nice ones or some of these kind of interesting ones, like this from 1942 Netherlands. That's a keeper. 
And uh, I hope everyone enjoyed listening. So see everyone next time. Bye-bye for now.